Well, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, August 14th. I'm Maggie Flecknow, and this is Houston Happens. I hope you all had a great weekend. And it's going to be a busy week with a lot of kiddos heading back to school. So coming up on today's show, a local law firm is joining us because they are hosting a huge giveaway for local teachers. And find out how you can thrift shop and help at-risk youth in our area. That and more is headed your way. So what do you say? Let's get this show started. As always, we begin with today's top talker. And let me tell you, this one will warm your heart. You have to check out the surprise at a lemonade stand in Lake City, Florida. We're selling lemonade today. Uh, this actually brought tears to my eyes. So when the sheriff's office heard that these kids were selling lemonade to buy their own school supplies, they decided to stop and surprise them. They even brought their canine unit. The kids, they were only charging 50 cents, so of course they gave them more money. That way they'd be sure to get their school supplies. Honestly, this touched my heart. First, that they needed the money to buy their school supplies. So many of us are so fortunate. And then also how a community can make such a huge difference in a young person's life. So may this motivate you on this Monday to do something kind for someone, especially all the kids heading back to school. Well, another top talker, the Astros. Yes, the Stros are healthy once again, and they're threatening to make a run for first place in the American League West Division. Our own Seth Kovar joins us now live from Minute Maid Park with his weekly Astros update. A lot of action at the juice box, my friend. Absolutely, yeah. Three-game series just wrapped up here against the Angels, a series in which the Astros won two games to one, and now they're off to Miami for a three-game set with the Marlins. But yesterday, it was almost a sweep of those Angels here at Minute Maid, but the bats kind of went quiet yesterday after two straight nights of 11-3 to wins. That was the score in wins Friday and Saturday nights, but the Astros could only muster one run yesterday and a 2-1 to loss. Jose Urquidy made his first start at home and second overall since April after coming off the injury list. He was good. He threw five innings of one run ball, allowing only three hits. Now the loss was a missed opportunity to gain ground on the AL West leading Texas Rangers. They lost yesterday too, but the Astros couldn't gain a game because they did lose as well. Both teams went two and one over the weekend, so the standings didn't change since we last talked about the Astros on Friday. Now Friday's game here at Minute Maid Park saw Justin Verlander make his first start at home with the Astros since rejoining the team at the trade deadline. He had a quality start, giving up three runs in six innings in one of those Astros three or 11 to three wins. After yesterday's game, manager Dusty Baker talked about the two most recent series, including last week's two games to one series win over the AL East leading Orioles. Certainly, we could have set up four and two. We could have been, you know, six and zero, oh. and uh, we had a chance to, you know, sweep this series just like we had a chance to sweep the last one. So, you know, we'll get over the the hump here soon. Well, that could start this week, given how the pitching rotation is set up. The Marlins will face the Astros' three best arms. Framber Valdez gets the start this afternoon in Miami. Christian Javier is set to throw tomorrow. And Justin Verlander will handle the pitching duties in the series finale on Wednesday. All three games start at 5.40 our time. And Maggie, with our early morning schedules, I absolutely love 5.40 East Coast games. And with the new rules speeding up the game, you can watch the game and be in bed by 9 easy, I believe. Hey. You are talking my language, especially with new parents. I know my husband and I will be excited about that. As always, you knocked it out of the park, my friend. Thanks for being our MVP. Ooh, look at that swing. Well, speaking of MVPs, as we get ready for a new school year, one local law firm, J.D. Silva and Associates, is hosting a huge giveaway for 300 teachers, plus one lucky teacher will get a classroom makeover. Joining us with more are Jonathan Silva and Sherrod Owens, partner attorneys. Thank you guys so much for waking up with us and more importantly, for what you're doing for our teachers. Yeah, thank you for having us. So yeah. why was this so important for you guys to do? So we were told by many local teachers that on a yearly basis, a lot of teachers have to sometimes buy their own supplies to fulfill the classroom requirements. And every year we like to do things for the students, but we said, why not this year do something for the teachers? Right. So we made our survival kits here. We have about 300 of these that we'll be handing out to the local teachers here in the area. They have uh, Starbucks gift cards. <gasps> oh, look at yeah. this. A mug and mug. everything. Yep. So, we have, so we have those as the survival kits, but then we also have the, the big giveaway to basically mm -hmm. give a whole classroom full of supplies to the teacher to include printers, laptops, 
paper, everything that they'll need to get the year started. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. so how can we have our teacher win this? So anybody can nominate a teacher, you just go to our social media, you can nominate uh, through that uh, platform, and then it, these goodie bags we're trying to hand out to at least 300 uh, teachers this year, so. This is amazing, mm -hmm. you guys are also treating them to lunch, tell me a little bit about that. Yes ma'am, so the, in the month of September every week, we'll be going to one local school each week and we'll be, we'll be going there with the food truck to feed the entire staff. I Thank you so much for doing this because my best friend's a teacher and yeah. I know that a lot of them have these Amazon wish lists, but so often they get overlooked, like you said. Is there a teacher that stands out in your mind that made a difference in your life? Oh, oh. <laughs> plenty. Plenty? <laughs> plenty, yes ma'am. Uh, but I can't name one, but we, you know, we had them throughout our Yeah, career. what about for you? Uh, I would say my mother. Um, I know oh. firsthand what uh, you know, teachers do for their students and how they spend you know, their own money from their own pockets to get their classrooms adequately equipped and give these kids an education. So this was very important to me. This is amazing, and there's still time because I know a lot of people are like, well, back to school, but there's still time to get this. So right. how long do we have to enter to have them win? Uh, we have until the 1st of September. Okay, 1st of September. Mm -hmm. Again, walk everybody through the process. You guys want to listen to this. I think we have a graphic, too, of how we can nominate a teacher. John, you want to? Yeah, so using our social media platform. So on any social media, all you have to do is type in J.D. Silva. That'll bring up our social media platform, and on there, you can nominate your teacher. I yeah. really love this. And it can be anybody. It can be teachers nominating teachers, student, students nominating teachers, parents nominating teachers. Anybody can go on there to nominate a teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I am excited about this. And again, thank you, gentlemen, for all that you're doing. Also, I mean, you are lawyers, so if somebody gets in a pickle this school year, hopefully not, how can they reach out to you guys? Uh, you can call our office, uh, reach, out, reach out to us online. Uh, the QR code is here. Our office number is 281-971-3200, or you can reach us at jdsilvalaw.com. Well, again, I really appreciate you, and we're going to have all of the details over on our website, cw39.com, so you can nominate a teacher, but also they're going to get lunch, and they're going to get survival. I mean, I know that they definitely need Starbucks. God bless all of our educators out there. They truly make a difference, and thank you, gentlemen, for the difference that you're making in our community thank you. as well. Thank you. And, of course, speaking of the new school year, if you're still looking for the perfect fit for your student, you have to check out this tuition-free public charter school. Unlock your child's academic potential at Ignite Community School Mainland, a tuition-free charter school. And joining me with more is campus director, Dr. Crystal Christensen. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Oh, thank you. I love being here. I'm really excited to learn more about this. So tell us a little bit about your school. Well, Ignite Community Schools Mainland is a charter campus. It's a public tuition-free. Uh, we go from pre-K four to eighth grade where your child can exceed and can learn to be prepped for college and all the other attributes that come along to making a wonderful human being. And you touched on something, tuition free. Yes. So really, you don't have to pay anything. No, and it is a very exclusive. We are our smaller campus and we're designed with a different curriculum and the different uh, attributes. Our staff is highly recommended. Our academics are wonderful, and we want to pride ourselves on being very small, but very personalized to help enrich your child's education. At roughly how many students are there, and are you guys reaching capacity? Currently, we're about 350 students, what? and yes, in some grades, we are definitely at capacity, but we plan on growing a little bit more. Um, but there are definitely reasons to get the enrollment in now because once we reach that capacity, there's no other room for them. And so if we have a child that we think would be a good fit or if we want a tour, how can we get in touch with you all? Well, that's wonderful. You can call us at the number provided or you can get a hold of us at ignite-mainland.com. Um, you can come check out our campus and we would love to have you there with all our attributes. We have a wonderful community garden, we have um, a cheer, we have started our own athletic program where this year our football team won the championship. So I was very proud of them. This is our first year out. So it's wonderful the things that are happening at, at Ignite Community Schools Mainland. I love this because sometimes people think of a charter school that you don't get that full experience, but you actually get it. So what sets you guys apart from everybody else, would you say? The love of our kids. Mm. Every staff member has been there. They're devoted. They work extra hours. 
Um, our program is set up to get to the fundamentals and make sure that it is a well-rounded child. I mean, we are offering CT courses from speech. We're offering AV, which will be something very much like we're sitting in today. Right. Um, and we offer art and Spanish. Spanish classes go from pre-K up to eight. Everybody gets it. We're hoping to emerge into a little bit more of a bilingual program somewhere down the road. But yes, we're very excited at the changes. Well, I'm excited, and if this sounds like it might be something for you, make sure that you reach out to Ignite Community School Mainland. Thank you again, Doctor. I appreciate you. Thank you. Have a nice day. I came out with my pants on Are so you trying to get me put <laughs> off television? Judge Mathis. You got the real deal. Next on CW39 Houston. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. I was on my way home and got hit by a drunk driver. I contact my attorney and he referred me to Terry Bryant. Being a client to Terry Bryant made me feel very comfortable. I was very relaxed. I didn't have to worry about anything. That's what I really liked. If I had another accident, I wouldn't have to try to look for another attorney. I would go back to him. I'm Cam. I'm an actual client of Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. Lost Texas Medicaid? Healthcare.gov is here for you. Where can we find a low-cost health plan? What about a plan that covers doctor visits? Emergency care? Prescriptions? With the new law, four out of five customers can find a plan for $10 or less per month with financial help. Healthcare.gov is here for you. Enroll today for coverage starting the first of next month. What's the website again? Healthcare.gov. Who can you call when you need immediate help, any time of day or night? Always giving you and your family peace of mind. AAA's legendary roadside assistance is a network with over 50,000 vehicles that respond to more than 32 million assistance calls every year. If something happens and we're broken down, my family's not gonna be stranded. There are so many benefits to membership, and AAA is there if you're locked out of your car, need a tow, run out of gas, have a flat tire or a dead battery. You know, if you have one flat tire or one battery service, that membership fee pays for itself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you can trust AAA to be there when you need them. Join today for less than $5 a month. We'll waive the membership admission fee. And as a special bonus, you'll receive a free one-year membership for two additional eligible family members and a $25 Visa gift card. That's a combined value of up to $174 for only $59 for an annual membership. Don't wait another second. Call to join AAA right now. Right now, during the Rooms to Go Labor Day mattress sale, get this very special offer. Sleep better and save big when you buy this Sealy Posture Pedic, Serta Perfect Sleeper, or Beauty Rest Select mattress in your choice of sizes for only $5.95. That's three great brands, any size, one low price. Twin, full, queen, even a king size mattress, just $5.95. Plus, check out all our other great mattress buys during the Rooms to Go Labor Day mattress sale going on now. Duncan is debuting a line of boozy coffees and teas. Okay then, and the U.S. housing market hit a record value of $47 trillion. Jane King is at the NASDAQ with those stories and more in today's Morning Business Report. Good morning. The U.S. housing market just reached a new all-time high valuation of $47 trillion. Redfin reports that surpassed the previous record of $46.6 trillion set a year ago. Low inventory of homes has pushed up home values. Well, Americans are spending $709 more per month on everyday goods and services than they did two years ago, according to Moody's Analytics. The good news is Moody says inflation is set to moderate further. Vehicle prices will decline more so too will electricity prices and the growth in the cost of housing will slow down. The biggest worry though is the jump in oil prices. Well, stocks were mostly lower last week an inflation report Friday showed the Federal Reserve's work is not yet done. And inflation may come and go, but bargain hunters are here to stay with a third of Americans claiming they're the best bargain hunter they know. A survey of 2000 American shopping habits by one poll in Ollie's Bargain Outlet found 
91% said the price of common items where they live has increased over the past year. And the same percentage said they've had to adjust how they shop because of how expensive things have become. And Duncan is looking to give its customers a different kind of buzz. It's preparing to launch a line of boozy iced tea and coffees under the name Duncan Spiked. They come in different flavors. They'll be served in cans at Duncan locations, although no launch date is set. From the NASDAQ Market Site, I'm Jane King with your Morning Business Report. And breaking news, she's back. My <laughs> other, oh, I always do this wrong. My other half, <laughs> Salt and Peppa, back together again. Hi. She's back from Idaho. Did you bring me a potato? I did not, but I have plenty of pictures to show you. Oh, yes, I heard. Um, okay, Barbie on a jet ski. And yeah. what is this? There was a thing. What did you say there was? There was a co cold front. Is that how you say it? What is a cold front? <laughs> and then this is my favorite, y'all. I was like, oh, did you get a goosebump? And she's like, <laughs> what's a goosebump? And I said, what? Are you, are you kidding I me? I was so <laughs> confused. <laughs> Because I was like, yeah, there was, we had flocks of geese and storks and loons. I don't and know ducks. what y'all do in Idaho. <laughs> I don't know what you are doing. No, no, Idaho. <laughs> Let me tell you, Christmas when you get chilly. Just I know, yeah. Okay. Well, it was so interesting because I actually had to take two sets of clothing, like a cold weather for in the mornings because it was like 40. I, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here, I was sweating. Okay, it was a food truck Friday. I was in the parking lot with pavement while you're getting goosebumps on your jet ski. Whatevs. I, I, I bet your hair looked great too. Thank you. It a lot. did because there's no humidity. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Don't even at me, girlfriend. Well, welcome back. And Thank he you. is like, hello, remember me, because it's still gonna be hot, right? Yes, it is gonna be right. extremely hot. And I want you to know, Maggie, one of my life hacks that I'm doing right now is grilling outside. I just turn on the grill. Oh, isn't it amazing? Yeah. That yeah, so you don't heat up the house. Oh. That's why I do it. Oh, he does it to be healthy with chicken. And oh, no, and no, no, no. dinner for a couple days. Yeah, you no. Throw those chicken breasts on there, put it on a salad, you're done. You guys are so much healthier than I am. I put uh, chicken on there last night with tons of lime and sal and everything. Like, it was not healthy. It That's was. That actually sounds amazing. Yeah, it was. But the reason I grill outside, as I mentioned, is because it's just too hot inside the house and it just makes the hot the house hotter and that way keeps my electric bill a little lower because check this out we are going to be seeing triple digits again today so if you want to do some grilling say for lunch time it's going to be at 92 degrees and <laughs> hot the dog uh and then in the 4 p.m hour this is when i have to cook because i go to bed so early we're going to be around 103 and then for you normal people that like eat at a normal hour. It's going to be 97 degrees around 9, 7 p.m. if you want to do some grilling. Now, Maggie, look at, do you what? see what this is? What is that? What is blue? What does that mean? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to do anything for our temperatures, oh. but it will make it so that we will have some good hair days, at least for Tuesday and Wednesday, because it's going to be bringing in some drier air. There is also the possibility of a few pop-up showers, but when we start to total up the inches, we're not going to get anything really over the next three days. Maybe a few spots here get a tenth of an inch of rain, but that's not going to be enough to keep our lawns green and our gardens going, so you definitely still have to go out there and water. And I have to mention this we have this excessive heat warning for today because our temperatures are going to be feeling like in the upper hundred teens how do you say that 110 plus oh, upper I, it's hundred teens unbearable yeah Don't let's just say it's, nasty. it's offensive i'm offended <laughs> <laughs> you came back and i'm offended i know i moved yeah where'd you go i'm over here oh, okay so far, okay <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. And guess what? You know, you're back just in time for our next segment because I know you love thrift shopping. Oh, man, baby, I love it. Well, honey, guess what? Thursday is National Thrift Day, and one local nonprofit is providing thrift shopping for a great cause. Joining me with more is Sebastian Sanders, CEO and founder of The Sanders Hand. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about The Sanders Hand. Yeah. Sanders Hand, we're a 501c3 organization founded in 2017, specializing in teaching average children business and financial literacy training through our Young Billionaires Club program. This is amazing. And now you are really helping these young entrepreneurs thrive. Tell me about this. The 
thrift that what you guys are doing. Yeah. So this Saturday, August 19th, we'll be opening up the Young Billionaires Club Thrift Store, which is going to be an extension of our academic program. Um, every customer that comes in and shops with us will leave with digital financial literacy. It's going to be a QR code that you can scan and you can go and get financial lessons on investing, um, budgeting, and credit. And in addition to that, all of the students that come through our program will work in the store and serve as on job training. This is amazing. So where can we go for more information? And if we have somebody that might be interested in joining the program. Yeah, so you can visit our website at www.sandershand.org. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at sandershandorg. And you can come visit us this Saturday, August 19th, from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. at 12579 Richmond Drive, Suite 600, for our ribbon cutting ceremony and grand opening. This is exciting. Why is it so important for you to have this organization? Mm -hmm. It's important because it's the future of education and how we change um, you know, our communities and educate our kids. You know, A lot of our kids aren't so career motivated when they come from impoverished communities. They're more so money motivated so they can make more money to improve mm -hmm. the quality of living for themselves and their family. It's important for us as an organization to step in and teach those skills that essentially goes untaught inside the traditional classroom and provide our kids with a sense of hope. Well, when you are talking on Monday Motivation, what motivates you and for any advice out there for youth. Mm -hmm. What motivates me is a legacy. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we live a life and you, you, you do things in life, but you never know exactly what you're doing it for until you find your God-given purpose. For me, you know, I want to leave here with the legacy to know that I started a revolution of change in the future of education. I may not necessarily change the world during my time, but if I can spark the mind of the next person that can change the world, then I think, you know, my life is successful and I've done my, my job. You truly are magical. So thank you for what you're doing and for our youth. And you're not just doing it here in the United States. You're yeah. doing it all around the world. Yeah, so we have programs operating in Houston, San Antonio, Oklahoma City, but also internationally in Ghana, Africa. We opened up a computer lab last year teaching our students internationally digital coding application skills. What was that like? It was amazing. Um, you know, to see our efforts go international was bigger than I could ever imagine because I started this inside of my college dorm and I never imagined I could be where I am today. Why did you start this? <laughs> you know, I started this while I was a sophomore in college and for me, it was also, it was more so about how can I change my community? And so I was a first generation graduate student obtaining UTSA and I realized my second year, I didn't see a lot of my peers that I had my first year and I noticed the drop off and I wanted to see how can I bridge that literacy gap? And I remember going to my class and I called my dad, I said, that I want to start a nonprofit organization. I want to just give out bags. And my dad challenged me. He said, son, I feel like you can do more. And at 19 years old, when you're hearing that from your father, you're like, you're trying to figure out exactly what does that more mean? And that night I was playing 2K with my friends and I'm losing at the time. And um, I got tired of the game. I said, you know what? I'm going to name the organization Sanders Hand. And from that day on, um, we've been here servicing over 5,000 students. That is truly remarkable, and you are doing your father proud, for sure. So Thank keep you. shining bright and helping others. Again, where can everybody go for more information? Yeah, so more information, you can visit our website at www.sandershand.org. You can visit our official um, Instagram and Facebook, at sandershandorg. Um, send us an email, visit us on, on social media, send us a message. Um, you can donate to our store Monday through Friday by scheduling an appointment, and we'll love to see you at the ribbon cutting ceremony in the grand opening this Saturday, um, August 19th, from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m at 12579 Richmond Drive, Suite 600. Well, thank you so much for your time. And yes, I really enjoyed your company. I hope that you come back on the show. Will do. Thank you so much. Thank you. And stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens after the break. News Nation tonight, Vivek Ramaswamy fighting to become the Republican nominee for president, facing your questions for the first time live in a national cable exclusive. The News Nation Town Hall, Vivek Ramaswamy, tonight at 9, 8 central on News Nation. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. We all have some place to go, to work, to school, to see our loved ones, or just to get away. No matter how we choose to get there, the ride has its dangers. And when serious injuries happen to good people, they turn to Terry Bryant to make things right. Car crash? You deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. 713-973-8888. Would you buy a life insurance policy if you knew your rate increased every five years? What if $9.95 a month bought you less than $1,000 in protection? Sadly, many policies that seniors buy today fail to mention this in their advertisements. You could buy a policy that might not give you enough coverage when you need it most. Call now to receive free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life Insurance Company. The Senior Care Plan guarantees your rates cannot increase. Your benefit will never decrease. There is no medical exam and you will have lifetime coverage. You could qualify for up to $30,000 in whole life protection and rates start as low as $5.90 a month. 
With the Senior Care Plan, your coverage can start immediately, unlike other policies that don't give you full coverage for two years. Call now for free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life. By calling now, you lock in the lowest rate possible. You have no obligation. Call now. Of all the places to buy a new mattress, why choose rooms to go? That's easy. The same reasons millions of you trust us for your furniture. Our amazing selection, affordable prices, and a helpful sales team that will find you the perfect mattress at the perfect low sale price. From top brands like Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, and Kingsdown, to mattress in a box brands like Nectar, Purple, and Casper. Sleep well and save on a new mattress during the Rooms to Go storewide mattress sale. When you drive America's best light duty pickup, summer is yours for the taking. To take bigger toys, to take fun to the limits, and take in every day surrounded by comfort. Make this the summer you take on everything. Make this the summer you drive a Ram. During the Ram Make This the Summer event, get $4,000 cash allowance on most 2023 Ram 1500 trucks or 2.9% financing for 72 months on the 2023 Ram 1500 Lone Star and Laramie. And before we go, Houstonians are stepping up to help the victims of the deadly wildfire in Maui. Former Houston Dynamo player Brian Ching, who is from Hawaii, hosted a fundraiser to raise money for those impacted by the Maui wildfire. The event was held at his beer garden, Pitch 25. And here's the thing, you can still give back now until Thursday. He's going to donate 50% of Kona beer sales to relief efforts. The blaze is already the deadliest U.S. wildfire in more than a century. The death toll has climbed to 93. And in the wake of the devastation caused by wildfires in Maui and as relief efforts continue, CW39 is joining our station in Hawaii and the Red Cross to help those affected. Through a partnership with the American Red Cross, CW39, our sister station in Hawaii, KHON2, and our parent company, Nexstar, we have actually dedicated Maui Wildfire Donation Page. That's where you can donate directly towards those impacted by the tragedy. So definitely make sure you check it out. We have all of the information over on our website, CW39. Com. And that's a wrap on today's show. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time for more Houston Happens. In the meantime, bye for now. Have a great Monday, everybody.